Up for sale now, Vehicle Max. We have a beautiful 2011 GMC Yukon Denali all wheel drive, short wheel base. Short wheel base just means that it's not the long one, it's not the XL. Pearl white on the outside with tan leather interior, completely loaded up with factory navigation, color backup camera, factory power moonroof, factory DVD player, heated seats, cool seats, 20 inch chrome wheels from factory, power tailgate, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It has a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an a rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. All right, let's go ahead and get inside of it, get it started, show you the interior options. <clears throat> the door panels are two-tone, beige in the bottom with brown in the top with the wood trimming. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel. Uh, memory seats for up to two drivers, heated and cool seats like I mentioned before. Automatic headlights that come on the sunset and come off at sunrise. Power tilt and trim. Dual power seat, power recline and lumbar support. Got curtain side airbags as well as seat side airbags. Before I sit down let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears or burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting, and there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been a non smoker. Got also trailer brake assist. Alright, let's get it started now. Alright, let's start off by putting in the air conditioning. It's nice and hot outside today. By the way, you got dual climate control. All that really means is that the right hand side of the vehicle will blow at 70 degrees, the way I have it set now, and the driver's side will blow at 60 on these two vents over here. Alright, let's put them back down to maximum because it's very warm outside. There's your navigation. Let me open up the moonroof first so we can get a little bit of lighting for the video. Uh, it is a glass moonroof. It is tinted, but also has this hard cover here that blocks out the sun completely. It's a one touch. You don't have to hold the switch for the moonroof to open. It goes about three fourths of the way, then you press it again for it to open completely. Uh, you can also vent it, which means uh, tilting it from the back to vent here with this button here. This is your power tailgate here. Let's go ahead and open it up. Have a look back there real quick. You can open the power tailgate by using the switch I just showed you from the remote control or by simply squeezing the tailgate handle as long as the vehicle is unlocked of course alright well when you put the vehicle in reverse you're gonna get your color backup camera and that along with the rear parking sensors should help you avoid any accidents when backing up alright the car has 83,112 miles to the right of the odometer you have a compass that lets us know that we're pointing heading in the east direction and below that is the um, outside temperature. All right, the car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer, I'm gonna rev the engine. 6.2 liter V8. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance due, nothing like that. The only light that you see on there is the seat belt light. I'm not worried my seat built to shoot a video. <clears throat> Alright, starting from the center here, you have wood trimming all in the center area here and all the door panels and around the uh, stereo and um, AC controls. You have a little tray here. This is usually where I put my phone. When you open it clearly, you have to remove it, otherwise it's going to fall back. And here you have a nice deep storage with a USB port and a cigarette lighter adapter for your chargers. <clears throat> Right, let's open this up here. This is for your cup holders. This is your uh, a little storage here. You have a couple of cigarette lighter adapters here for your chargers. These are your power adjustable pedals. This feature allows you to move the pedals away from you or towards you 
about three or four inches which comes in really handy when you have a very tall driver or a very short driver rear these are, this is to disable your rear bumper parking sensors this is to disable your traction control um, let's uh, let's move over to the uh, let's put on a little music I guess oh, actually we got a movie playing I forgot to show you that there's audio you can play movies on this navigation screen as long as the vehicle uh, is in parking. Let's give it a second for that to boot up. In the meantime, while that boots up, um, there it goes. Let's go to full screen. Clearly, as you can see, we have um, uh, we have a, a, a touch screen with a XM capability. Let's come back here and have a look at the DVD here. And uh, as you can see, we're playing the same movie on the roof-mounted unit as well as on the navigation screen. Let's come back up to the front. I still got a show, bunch of stuff to show you here. All right. Um, let's put let's put on some music. By the way, if I switch this here and I, I go to FM, for example, here, that's not going to affect uh, what the what the uh, passengers in the rear are watching. They're still watching the movie back there, and they use it. They listen through it with headphones. All right, let's go ahead and put on some music here. Okay, now you have steering wheel controls. This is here to raise the volume, lower the volume. It's got the uh, Bose stereo sound system. To mute it, you mute it here. Okay. These two buttons here are to navigate about your preset stations. Those are the ones that you say here yourself, which of course can be changed. Uh, this one here is your seek button, takes you to the next available station. The source button that helps you navigate from AM to FM to XM to DVD mode, auxiliary, which is your, um, uh, your little port here for your iPod music. Um, once you pair your phone to the Bluetooth, you're going to answer the phone over here and you're going to hang it up over here. Um, the mute button, when, not, when you're not using the Bluetooth, you can hold it down for your voice commands. On the left hand side of the steering wheel, you got your cruise control and also a heated steering wheel option. The steering wheel is leather wrapped with wood trimming and I'll pan around it nice and slow so you can see it's in great shape. In the meantime, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and always close on Sundays. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, um, let's see what else here. Uh, the two front windows are automatic, meaning one touch. You don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down. The mirrors have turn signal, as you can see there. And this is going to be a little bit harder for you to see, but you see that little car there, two little cars there? That is your blind zone spot alert. When you're driving and you're going to switch lanes, if there's a vehicle in your blind spot, these two little cars are going to light up in yellow to let you know that the lane is not available for you to change. They are also power folding. All right. Um, and you do have... Um, also, your, your heating and cooling. Let me see if I can. It's probably easy if I open the door. That way I can get you directly here. You can see it better. All right, the top button is for cooling. I'm going to press it. It lights up in blue up here to let you know that it's cool. This one here now is in high. If you press it again, it goes to medium. One more time for low, and one more time to turn it off. Now, the heated buttons uh, this one to heat the entire seat, this one's to heat only the backrest. You press it once, it's going to light up in red here to let you know it's hot. And this right now it's on high, medium, low, and off. Okay. Let's see what else here. Okay. Um, all right. Um, you do have at the end of the shifter your towing haul mode. When you press that button, a wagon, a yellow wagon, is going to appear in your tachometer area to let you know that you've activated towing haul mode, which is going to disable the overdrive and make the transmission shift a little differently in order to adjust for the extra uh, cargo load. Once you're done towing, press it again, the yellow wagon goes away. You do have also a manual shifting option, and I'll show you how that goes. Keep an eye on your, right now we're in park, reverse, neutral, drive, and that's how you're going to drive it 99% of the time, but if you want to make a shift manually, you go down to the M, you'll see it says M1, 
and now when you tap on the plus on that um, on that shifter it changes gears all the way up to six as this vehicle has a six-speed automatic transmission the downshift you tap on the minus and the downshifts clearly nothing's happening now because we're not moving but if we were you'd be controlling the vehicle shifting if that doesn't interest you just put it back on the D and your six-speed automatic transmission will do all the shifting for you all right um, <clears throat> On the right hand side here, this is your onboard computer where you have your trip odometer, trip settings, system check, systems preferences, right? And that's all going to light up right in here, okay? Let's see here what else. Your main glove box is over here. And then there is your owner's manual with its casing and all the supplemental booklets that you need for the vehicle's operation. Um, let's go ahead and pan over the dashboard now so you can see it's in perfect shape. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no cracks. All right. <clears throat> you do have also <clears throat> an auto dimming rear view mirror that has a sensor up here that senses bright light. So if somebody puts their high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. You also have the OnStar system. If you purchase this vehicle from us, you will get a 90 day free trial with a OnStar at no, cost, at no cost to you. And let me tell you what else OnStar does for you. For example, if you get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy, including the side airbags, it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar Center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you through the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Also, <clears throat> if you happen to lock your keys inside your car, they provide you with a 24-hour number. You call that number, identify yourself. Once they know it's you, they can send an immediate signal to the car to get it open which will save you a bunch of time and money having to wait for a locksmith and having to pay a locksmith. If you have any other kind of emergency, press the red button. The All-Star Center will come on and assist you with that emergency. If you're lost in any directions, press the blue button. The All-Star Center will come on and give you turn-by-turn -turn directions until you arrive at your destination. If your check engine light comes on, press the blue button. The All-Star Center will come on, diagnose the vehicle remotely, tell you what's wrong with it and how to proceed to take care of it. They also have concierge service and roadside assistance. For more details, visit OnStar.com and don't forget to mention our dealer so you get your 90 day free trial. Up in the top here, you get your home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. You got also map lights. All right, let's go ahead and pan over the passenger seating area now so you can see also it's in great shape. All right, I think we're ready to move on to the back. I try to cover as much as I can in these videos. If I've missed something, if you have any questions, feel free to call me at 305-218-5462. All right, let's continue here. Go to the middle row section. Yeah, privacy tinted glass all around, as you can see. Left rear door panel. This vehicle is equipped with the child lock protection. Let me show you how that goes. You stick your key in here, give it a half a twist to the left. And what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, you just do the opposite. You would have to twist to the right and this handle will start working again. This is a seven passenger seating uh, uh, vehicle. Two in the front, buckets in the center, two more, and a full bench in the rear for a total of seven. In the back of the, by the way, these middle row bucket seats are also heated okay in the back of the center console the middle row passengers can control the AC you know uh, how fast the fan goes where it flows how cold or hot they want it they can also control the stereo turn it on and off seek forward seek backwards they can change the source which is um, you're going from AM to FM to DVD to auxiliary and the programming which are your preset stations they can control the volume the tuning and they also have headphone jacks for privacy there's also a video input here so if you can power it through a cigarette light or adapter, you can actually watch it up here on this DVD player. This also opens up into a cup holder. To gain access to the rear, the little ones usually just walk in between. But um, you'll have a switch on the side here, which makes the seat tumble. Let me show you how to do that. And that gives you nice and easy access to the third row. Back here you got uh, cup holders and a little tray over there. And uh, all the passengers in the rear back here have uh, over-the-shoulder belts, including the middle row passenger. To bring this back down, you simply just push it here and lift up here. 
and you're back onto passenger mode. You have also anchors for your baby car seat. There are two on each side, so you can place your baby car seat on either one of these two positions. Up in the top here, the DVD player has integrated map lights. You got AC vents here for the middle row passengers, and another set of AC vents and map lights for the rear row passengers. Let's continue on to the back. All the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. Right rear tail light. You got a class three heavy duty towing package with the electrical connection there ready to go for all your towing needs. You got parking sensors in the rear bumper. There are two on each side. Those are the ones that beep when you approach another vehicle or object. This car is also flex fuel capable, meaning you can put that E85 flex fuel that costs about 30 cents less per gallon, but it doesn't mean you have to. You can put regular on leather or premium on leather. Rear wiper. Inside the glass, you get the little orange lines, which are your rear window defogger. Like I said before, to open up the tailgate, you can simply squeeze. There's a switch in here. You squeeze it and back up a little bit. All right, in the rear, you got a 50-50 bench row seat. And there are several actions you could take with it. For example, if you pull up on handle number one, the seat back will just go down and it'll look like this. You, you, put, you can put stuff on top of it. If, after you pull up on handle number one, if you want to go into cargo mode, you pull up on handle number two and the seat, the seat back will go down and then the seat will lift from the back up to the front and stay right up to the back of the center row seats. It's going to look like this. And if you want to remove the seat, after you pull up on handle number one, you grab this handle here that says removal only, pull it toward you, and the seat will come out. They are, um, the seats are independent from each other, so you can do one side and not the other, or you can do the both. Got another cigarette lighter adapter here for your chargers. To close the tailgate, you can close it by here, by pressing the switch on the overhead console, or with your remote control. All right, let's come around to the passenger side here. Got factory running boards for the little ones to step up. Right rear door panel. Let's pan over the passenger seating area here. This car is in an impressive condition here. It looks like whoever had this car didn't have any kids because these middle row seats are in perfect shape. They don't have any indentations from baby car seat. They're not damaged. They're just this car. It looks like it's got zero miles when you look at this middle row section here. Really, really nice. Give you another look at the headliner from a different angle here, so you can see that there, there are no stains or bleach spots or it's not sagging anywhere. Really, really nice condition this vehicle here. All right, let's come around to the passenger front. <coughs> right front door panel. Sure, by now you'd notice that none of the panels have any cuts, tears, burn holes, none of the wood trimming is damaged, none of the speaker covers are cracked. Like I said before, you have power seat, <coughs> power recliner, and lumbar support, not just on the driver's side, but also on the passenger side. All right, before we conclude this video, I would like to talk to you briefly about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even got some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply just want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net, run on the home page at the top, you'll see a tab that says apply for credit, click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.